I'll let you know when the last question is. Okay. Just wait. I have a few. I, hear I only have 20 minutes, so. <laughs> <laughs> only 20 minutes, yeah. Five minutes. <laughs> Yes, it is our attempt to connect the viewer to the universe in such a way that you learn not only how we have come to learn how the universe works, but how we've come to embrace what our place is within it. Oh yeah, oh no, I have no bad experience, I love conferences. I have no bad experiences in any of them. I, you give a talk and people ask questions, probing questions. It's the job of people who you give a talk to among colleagues to stump you. That's their job. Because this, if you're going to give a result, it had better be a very tight result. Otherwise, someone's going to find the hole in it. So if you survive them trying to poke holes in it, then you can you are elevated for how well you did your work. Sure. So, no, I, I, I love conferences, and you get to see people you hadn't seen in a while, and you get their first-hand reflections on how they think the universe works. Yeah, I don't know what they teach grade by grade in Japan. <coughs> So I don't know what they teach grade by grade in other countries. I just know that at a given age, when they give a test internationally, the United States does very poorly. So either we're all being taught the same thing and Americans are learning less, or they're teaching them more at an earlier age in Japan and in, uh, in other nations. And we're very low, 26th or 7th on some standard lists that have been uh, produced. So, by the way, success is not just how well did you do on your exam, it's also how creative are you. And you come up with an idea that no one has thought before. And it's one, been one of the strong points in the United States that people have a certain irreverence for what is, and they want to change it. And even though if you're my teacher or you're my father, or my elder, that doesn't carry into the respect I have for you being those things to me does not carry into whether I think you're wrong. Last question. Whether I think you your ideas no longer apply to the world that I want to create for tomorrow. So I'm going to walk away from you right now and do that. <laughs> right? So that is that's an extraordinary cultural distinction. That in America we don't have this sort of ancestor worship. We don't look to our ancestors as having the insight into how I am going to earn money tomorrow. Uh, Albert Einstein. Oh yeah. They are the same as each other, just in a different era. You put them together, they, they would take over the world. <laughs> and we will, we will willingly be, let them do it, because they're, they're the smartest people in town. And they're the smartest pair of people in the last half of a millennium, possibly even the entire last millennium. So maybe I throw in Leonardo. Leonardo. Yeah, just throw him in there. <laughs> Why not? Just to shake it up. Because Newton and Einstein were not engineers. They were pure scientists in their thinking and in their writings. Leonardo was also an engineer in his ideas. You put them together, they can invent a tomorrow daily. <laughs> so. Hello everyone in the Rio Grande Valley. <laughs> I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, your personal astrophysicist, and I'm here to to compel everyone to every now and then look up because that's the only way you can imagine a future that might be different and in particular better than the present in which we all live and the innovations in science and technology will bring you that future